with Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Unsi na lang ka mga kaso sa coronavirus sa Tibuok Central Visayas kagahapong adlawa. Mga relihusong kalihukan gawa sa simbahan sa pista senior gikan silar. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News ang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas. Ang dakbayan sa Subo, aduna na lang lima kabagong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang, ang dakbayan sa Mandawi, usap kabagong kaso. Mausap ang nakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu, adun ay usa kabagong kaso. Samtang ang lalawigan sa Subo, adun ay upat kabagong kaso. Negros Oriental, si Kihor o lalawigan sa Buhol, wala ay bagong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Sa kinatibukan, ang Central Visayas, adun ay unsi na lang kabagong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Mabot sa 21 ka mga lungsod sa probinsya sa Subo, ang wala ay aktibo nga kaso sa coronavirus. Base sa Nobyembre 8, nga datos ang ipagawa sa USAB sa Provincial Health Office. Ang mga lungsod gawa na aktibong kaso, mao ang Alcantara, Alcoy, Aluginsan, Asturias, Badyan, Barili, Burbon, Hinatilan, Malabuyok, Mualbual, Uslo, Puro, Pilar, Runda, Sambuan, San Francisco, Santander, Sibunga, Sugod, Tabuilan o lungsod sa Tabugon. Base sa report sa Provincial Health Office na naan na lang sa 213 ang aktibong kaso sa coronavirus sa Tibuok, Lalawigan, sa Subo. Gikansilar na sa Menore del Santo Nino ang dagko ng mga reliyosong kalihukan gawa sa simbahan at tolo niya sa pagsugat sa ika-456 katuig ng anibersaryo sa kapistahan ni Senyor Santo Nino. Ang mga kalihukan tipik unta sa tinuig nga kalihukan sa sinulog nga gidagsa sa libuan ka mga tao. Gumikan ni ini ang mga kalihukan nga naglakip sa penitential walk with Jesus, opening salvo, penitential walk with Mary, o ang katapusan adlaw sa nubina, translasyon o guban pa. Gikan sila usab ang maong mga kalihukan tungod sa padayong kaso sa corona virus. Kagamanan sa nakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu, nakatun over na o 500 ka mga sakong bugas aron itabang sa mga residente sa Bicol Region na mga inapiktuhan sa Bagyong Rule, ang kasayuran hiyatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Nakatoy over na ang kagamanan sa dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu o Kenyantos kasako sa Bugas Humay ganto sa Police Regional Office kon PRO7 aron itabang sa mga residente sa Bicol Region ganapiktuhan sa Super Typhoon Ruli. Giklaro hinoon ni Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Junard Ahong Chan nga ang maong mga hinabang gikan kinis mga upunganon o dili sa syudad. Kinigumikan kay ang syudad ang wala na gipondo. Hinungdan nga gipaagi na lang nila sa Osaka Relief Campaign ang pagtabang sa mga napiktuhan sa bagyo sa maong dapit. Na hinata gini sa mga upunganon. Puros gini taga taga upon nga kita na nawagan ta nga ato ang kabangan ang ato makaisunan sa Bicol. So 
Muna, uh, isanong sila sa ato ang hangyo. Nagpadayon pa noon ang pagpanawat sa syudad o mga hinabang diin gipadayag sa mayor ang iyang pasalamat. Ngayon sa mga upunganon nga mihatag o donasyon alang sa ato mga igsoon nga nanginahanglan. Gawa sa mga bugas humay, donaosay na dawat nga mga canned goods, gatas o guban pa mga food items ang syudad. The second bus na pa may laing pong bugas nga gihatag po sa mga pigsonan with uh, relief kaning mga uh, na ay mga sanina, ano, mga gatas nga ihatag, mga atong ipadala po niya ito. Within, the, within this week, probably by, by Wednesday, uh, ato na po ihatag for the second week. Nasairan nga ang PRO7, maunay mo padala sa maunga hinabang ito sa Bicol Region. Lakip ang pagripak ni Ini. Fatch and Thinny in so CCTN News. Giyakob ni Mayor Edgardo Labilia sa dakbayan sa Subo ang pagkatudlo ni Police Major General Dibold Sinas isip bagong pango sa Philippine National Police. Si Sinas kanhi director sa PRO7 o nahimusab nga director karon sa National Capital Region kung NCRPO. Mato ni Labilia na dako niyang kalipay o dumog na ang kanhi director sa PRO7 mo ay gitudlo ni Presidente Rodrigo Duterte Ese pinakataas nga opisyal sa kapulisan. Si Labilia ni Daig ni Sinas sa iyang dedikasyon o katakos sa iyang nga trabaho. Malaumon si Labilia nga dunay mga kayuhan nga mada si Sinas din ni sa subo. Din matagan o sabi ini o prioridad ang kahusay o kalinaw. Gikatagdang ipaubos sa Motorcycle Riding Course sa Highway Patrol Group ang kapulisan din ni sa Dakbayan sa subo. Itudlo nga ito kanila ang insakto nga maneuvering sa motorsiklo aron kalikayan ang mga disgrasya. Ang kasayuran yatod ni Desimi Padilla. Nagkanayon si Police Captain Maria Alicia Valera, Pangulo sa Metro Cebu Highway Patrol Team, nga nagpagayon sila ang motorcycle riding course sa kapulisan sa Cebu City Police Office. Si Gunit Captain Valera, pagpangandam sa kinimatod pa sa nagkadoon nga holiday season, daghan na ang tao ingon man na asa mga street crimes. Matod ni Captain Valera, pinaagi sa tabang sa Highway Patrol Group sa Cebu City, doon na sila motorcycle rider instructors, diin sila mo ay mutunlo sa kapulisan sa saktong movement sa motorcycle cycle ingon man paghandle sa motorsiklo gihulagway ni Captain Valera ang importante nga mapaubos sa motorcycle riding course ang kapulisan sa sudan sa Subo aron masayod sa saktong paghandle sa motorsiklo aron maminusan ang disgrasya sa dili madugay matud pa masugdan na ang motorcycle riding course sa Cebu City Police Office Desmay Padilla CC News Gitinguha karon nga patasan ang multa niadto makalapas sa anti-vandalism ordinance sa lungsod sa Cordoba. Kini aron mahunong na ang paghugaw-gaw sa mga grupo sa mga batan-on diha sa mga kural ug kabalayan diha sa ilang lungsod. Ang kasayuran diadto ni Chris Ligan. Gidusto sa chairman sa Committee on Peace and Order sa Konsyo sa Lungsod sa Cordoba, Konselo si Wahing, ang ordinan sa hon nga mag-amendar sa anti-vandalism ordinance. Kini aron patasan ang multa sa vandals nga sagad grupo sa mga batan-on nga maghugahugaw sa mga kural, bungbong o gubang istruktura apil na gani sa edipisyo sa gobyerno. May sugyot ni Konsel Wahing nga himuon ng usakalibu ka pesos ang multa nini sa unang kalapasan ni Atong Masakpan. Atong tuyo niya na limpyo kung dito ang atong lugar okay, para mga attract sa itong investors. Sa itong mga turist ng Moscow sa ito. lang amindahon ang karaang ordinansa kay gamay ra kayo ug multa. Hinoon, gawag tausab ni Wahing ang silot nga pagkabilanggo na itong masakpan nga vandals apan palimpyohon lang sa ilang gihugawan nga lugar. Atong existing na ordinansa, nahimon niya itong 1986 pa. Mawalang itong ikuwan ka kung kinanap na karang mga tao, kinanap na karang mga bantay. Tampang tagayo itong vandalism ka doon sa mga fencing spa. Gawas ang kapulisan tinguha ni Wahing apil sa mga patuman sa ikon na ng sahon na ipasar mo ang kabaranggayan. Mayor, siya mo po ang ipuproso kinsa ng mga agency, kabaranggayan, polis. Siya mo po sa mayor. Matag siya ang memoranda o instruction ka na po ang kinsa ng mga agency ko na i-implementa. Riz Ligan, CCTN News. Mau kan tu atau 
mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ilang atong Sire Corita Isyate, karong alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos na Misa, manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang sarap.
live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Ko and family. Dr. Jean Rafanan and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family. My dear friends, in this celebration, we honor Saint Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. This eminent pastor and preacher and defender of the Roman primacy combated Pelagianism and Manichaeism. His declarations on the two natures of Christ were adopted by the Council of Chalcedon in 451. Many of his prayers are found in the sacramentary, saved Rome from marauding Huns and Vandals. That's Saint Leo the Great. Through his intercession, we offer to the Lord our individual and communal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading 
from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, you must say what is consistent with sound doctrine, namely, that older men should be temperate, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, love, and endurance. Similarly, older women should be reverent in their behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to drink, teaching what is good, so that they may self-control, chase good homemakers under the control of their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Urge the younger men, similarly, to control themselves, showing yourself as a model of good deeds in every respect.
be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, Who has just come in from plowing or tending the sheep in the field? Come here immediately and take your place at table. Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat. Put your, your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this day and age, the self tends to be overrated and egocentric. Today's gospel tidings, though pretty difficult to swallow, are apt reminders for all those who dare to consider themselves Christians. First point. Using leading or guiding questions to secure somewhat controlled and predictable responses from his listeners, our Lord powerfully drove home the immutable truth that only God counts. I repeat, only God counts. Nothing we do or refuse to do can add to or subtract from the glory and majesty of God. Laro na ha? God's greatness is not contingent on our obedience. Nothing we do or refuse to do can add to or subtract from the majesty and glory of God. That's the reality. Sad but true. However, God considers us important. We matter to Him because we are created in His image and likeness. And not only that, He has given us, He has bestowed upon us the opportunity, the privilege of serving Him in our neighbors. Why? Because we are gifted to give. Kindly pray over the first letter of Peter, chapter 4, verse 10. Second point. No matter how heroic is the execution of our Christian discipleship, we remain expendables. Who cannot lay a claim on God? or put him in our debt. God's graciousness is eternally unmerited as a sheer gift. There is absolutely nothing for us to boast about except the goodness of the Lord. Again, sad reality, but the truth. However, my dear friends, God is mindful of us. He cares for us. Proof? He created us just a little lower than the angels. 
He crowned us with glory and honor. He appointed us in charge over the works of his hands and subjected everything under our feet. Psalm chapter 8, verses 4 to 8. Third point. Someone wise wrote, We need to choose to be servants rather than merely choosing to serve. In this way, we begin to steadily desire greater freedom, even from the normal and healthy once-in-a-while dose of appreciation and recognition, guided by the conviction that humble service for the love of God is its own reward. So, claro na siya. This disposition, my dear friends, is a grace-filled ounce of preventive measure, saving us from a conceited sense of entitlement, pervasive in our culture today, which tempts us to seek validation of our self-worth in verbal affirmation, tangible rewards, and even public approval. Sad again, but true. Yet, my dear friends, those who are willing to serve selflessly as God's instruments, the divine master will serve them in the kingdom of heaven. Mabali ang servant, sirbisyuhan sa great teacher. Asa na to na makita nga saad mo kay Gisunan? Luke 12, verse 37. Mga kay Gisunan, na ako'y salida nga nakitaan nga, na ilinya nga nagkanayon, attitude is the aroma of the heart. With that in mind, today's gospel provides us with the proper attitude of servanthood, the right aroma of our heart, so that our relationship with God would not be reduced to a mere series of negotiations to cut the best deal with Him. Atong larohon, a good and faithful Christian who considers himself or herself a servant, is willing to do just anything for God. There is no one he or she will not serve to honor God. And there is no need for rest or reward. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may learn from Jesus, His Son, the spirit of selfless and loving service. Father, keep us in Your service. Father, keep us in Your service. That the Pope, the bishops, and the priests may faithfully serve the household of faith with diligence and dedication. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That the leaders of the society may become true servants by diligent efforts in bringing the common good to all, rather than seeking their selfish gains. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That we may grow in the commitment to justice and love through the dedicated service in everyday life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That those who render service to the sick may witness to Jesus, who is the servant of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That our divine master may grant our faithful departed their heavenly rewards for their loving service on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. 
that the servant of God, Jophilo Kamomot Bishop, may be raised to the glory of the altars. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. Loving Father, we present to you our needs and the needs of the whole church. You know truly well that without you, we can do nothing. And so hear them, if they be for our good, for your greater glory, and for the good of all your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For us on the festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished with the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now complete our prayers and our praises by addressing God, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take Lamb away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of the sacred banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to rule the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Let us continue in prayer. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. 
Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Friends, I would like you to recall the triumphant entry of Jesus to Jerusalem. Now that you have that in your consciousness, let us conclude. Not even the young donkey on which Jesus sat on his way to Jerusalem instinctively perceived the jubilant acclaims of the crowds as his. The colt knew very well that all those were not for him, but for the one he was so privileged to carry. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go forth. Glorify God in your life. Thanks be to God. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Co and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines.